This video is proudly recorded and produced on OpenBSD. As you may know, around two months ago, I have purchased a ThinkPad T480 uh, as my main OpenBSD station. And I think after two months, I have a good understanding about its compatibility with OpenBSD. Let's begin with the hardware specification. So the laptop originally came with a CPU a Core i5 8 gen clocking at 8 1.9 GHz with 8 GB of DDR4 RAM, 256 of NVMe SSD, 1080 uh, display, and it costed me 335 euro. I also did some upgrades. I purchased a drive byte of NVMe. It costed me 85 euros. And also I purchased, I added ad an additional RAM. So because it has two RAM slots and I added a, a, an additional 16 gigabytes and that costed me 54 euros. In total, I paid 474 euros. About the software that I'm running, obviously I'm running OpenBSC 7.2 using i3 uh, window manager plus Linux Mint with the uh, stock desktop environments. The software that I often use is Firefox, KDN Live, Audacity, FFmpeg. I also write code in C and Java quite a bit. And also once in a while I use VM or VMM, the OpenBSD virtual machine. So let's go to the meat of the topic. Uh, what works and what doesn't? To my uh, tests and my usage, everything works except Bluetooth. Bluetooth, there is no... Uh, Bluetooth support on OpenBSD, that's uh, regardless of the hardware. And in my case also the webcam doesn't work, but I don't care about it. The Wi-Fi works if you install firmware, so F the, uh, FW update command. And the firmware that uh, mine has is IWM. There's a catch with the firmware because this one is a proprietary firmware or there's a licensing issue. I'm not sure whether there is a proprietary or not. There's a licensing issue with the firmware so they cannot distribute it with the installation medium. And as a result of it, when you are installing OpenBSD, if you, have a, if you need to have a proprietary firmware, then it's not gonna work out. You, don't, you cannot access to the uh, internet and that may cause some problems. I have found a workaround to install OpenBSD offline and probably in the future I will make a video about it. And the last one, uh, I'm not sure whether there is a software issue or is there a compatibility problem and that is about Zenocaro. Zenocaro basically is the X server of OpenBSD, is a fork of Xorg and the problem is that once in a while uh, when i log in to i uh, to to the i tree or to any environment the cpu max out at 100 and if i check uh, the which process causes that problem all the time the culprit is an occur so far i haven't found any like a bug fix or something the only thing that I do is to restart the machine and the problem goes away. Final word, do I recommend ThinkPad T480 as, a, as an OpenBSD workstation machine? Definitely. I think it's a very good device in terms of software compatibility with OpenBSD. It has, a, it has certain upgradability and that is not, that's not available in the new versions of uh, or new generation of ThinkPad and above all it has actually the uh, it has the battery uh, bridge system so it runs at two batteries 
external and internal and I can hop so hot swap the external battery and it has relatively modern uh, hardware I would say that should serve me well for for uh, <clears throat> in, in upcoming years however the build quality is much worse from uh, older generation in my opinion I have ThinkPad T430 uh, from 2012 2000 13 era and also x250 both of them have much better build quality than t480 i understand t480 is a thin laptop is lightweight but also it's a bit fragile in my opinion but all in all i am happy i'm satisfied with the purchase i would have been happier of course if i paid less money or I got something better with the same money but I'm I'm happy and I recommend this machine as OpenBSD workstation